All right, all right, all right, Buff Nation, what is going on? Hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. Hope you guys aren't working too hard. I had to start this a little bit earlier than expected because I did have a, a new meeting pop up that I got to be at. But hey, y'all have been waiting for me to get some 2023 film. I got a handful now. So I should be able to start doing some more kind of film breakdowns with like the new players that have come in. Hey, and even taking a look at our performances this past year. You know, I have a few games for that as well. Uh, shout out to Sco Buffs Daily. Hope you're doing well. And uh, y'all make sure you go hit him up on Twitter. But I thought today, go ahead and take some time to run through Chidoze Wonkwo's performance against the Texas Longhorns this year. Hey, this is going up against a team that made the college football playoff, Big 12 champions. A very high quality offensive line. And uh, from what I was looking at from uh, the different plays that I've marked, I, I think Buffs fans, we should be excited to have him here. And I think that he definitely, like everybody's been saying, you know, he will be the defensive anchor, that defensive wall for us on the interior. And what we need is guys on the edge, guys in the linebacker positions making um you know making those plays to wrap up look at a guy like Chidoze Wonkwo as uh like a point guard in a sense you know you want to be setting up other guys to eat other guys uh to succeed so I I mean I'm pumped about this so I don't know how long I'll get through before I got hop on to this meeting uh I mean I went through and marked up a ton of different plays um, but I'll come back and do like a part two if I, I need to do that. So, um, Hey, shout out to K Vizzy and red zone Sco. Love it. <laughs> I will say sometimes I do talk out of my ass, but you know, that's just, that's just what it is. I appreciate the kind words, Shirley red zone Sco. What's up? And yeah, let's go ahead and dive into this. And hopefully again, I am just your amateur backyard football keyboard coach. There's going to be some things that I uh, point out. There might be some things that you guys see that I don't. Uh, let's learn together, okay? So with that being said, let's have some fun with this, shall we? Hold up. And I'm going to do like a different playback speed because... Again, I got this copyright strike on my Tarian Carter film. I don't know why. This is all 20, this is coach's tape. So hopefully that doesn't happen with this because I want to continue to do these for y'all. But I might, man, I don't want to have to set up a Patreon or like do private videos on my membership, but hopefully it doesn't get to that point because I want this to be available to the entire public. Okay. So you guys can see that. All right. Let me go ahead and bring open my little notes tab that I have here as well. So, uh, Wonkwo, uh, he graded out in this game, like, I want to say, like around a 67 or, or something like that. So maybe it was close to, to 70. But nonetheless, we know that our guys probably this past year wouldn't have even touched that. Uh, but let's check this out. You'll see Wonkwo number 10. Lining up here at the nose tackle position, that zero technique basically right up across the face of the center on every play. And we'll get this thing running right. So, <clears throat> and this was a pretty interesting game because Houston, um, they ended up making a big comeback and almost, almost beat Texas when they were up on three scores on them. You see here, we got a passing play. Quinn Ewers to Xavier Worthy. I mean, that is, that's what got them to the college football playoff. But you can see here um, a, a little bit of pass rush. I, I think you'll be more impressed with his uh, run defending uh, snaps than his pass rush. Sometimes on the pass rush, he's getting triple teamed based on the guys that they're rushing. But here, yeah, they're rushing three. They're dropping back eight. There's really not much you can do, but nice to see him fighting. Uh, through this a little bit and i mean that's just a quick pitch and catch 
obviously Quinn Ewers and uh, Xavier Worthy have a have a big time connection. Okay, so now we get second down on this drive, and we'll see that Wonkwo again, um, <clears throat> another pass rush. And you like to see him collapse in the pocket a little bit, but Quinn Ewers and uh, you know credit to Sark, this is good play design where he's able to get the ball out of his hands very, very quickly. And so even though the pack, the pocket is collapsing a little bit, you're not seeing that affect Quinn Ewers at all. Uh, he, you know, he's hitting that first read. So here he is going up against the center. Nice little rush to get past him. That's nice. And, hey, if he was covered, maybe Wagwo's in there for a sack, right? Or at least a pressure. But you'll see Houston's defense really does improve as time goes on uh, th throughout the game. Here we got a second down and five, second and four, something like that. Can't remember if this is a run or play action, but you can see here Wankwo isn't being uh, pushed off the line. You see he's actually pushing over towards the direction of the play. This is an outside, or I don't know if it was – Intended to be outside, but Baxter ends up bouncing this outside, and it's away from Wonkwo. Tackle or tight end, I forget, does a really good job of sealing off the edge there, and it's a big gain for Texas. But I would say Wonkwo did a pretty good job of what he was responsible for, making sure that there's no holes in the interior that are opening up. Let's get another look at this. <laughs> You can see he he does very well in kind of splitting this action right here. This is covered pretty well by Houston. Both of these gaps, these A gaps, and uh, 70. You see A.D. Mitchell back there. They're doing a really good job of sealing off that edge. Nice little run play for, for Texas. Okay, then we got a first and 10. Giving like a four lineman look here. False start. Can't do that. <laughs> Sorry, I just had it on my notes to just run through the first full drive first. So that's why I didn't account for this penalty, my bad. Got him. You see Wonko's pumped. He's clapping his hands, right? Okay, first and 15. Little, let's see here. Three wide receivers set. Play action, I believe. Yeah, you can see Wonkwo. He gets out there. He identifies, hey, they might be going to Baxter right here, or maybe they hand it off to Baxter. And then he realizes, oh, shoot, this is actually a pass play from Quinn Ewers, and then you see him uh, turn back upfield towards Quinn Ewers in pass protection. But he ends up dumping it off to Baxter. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, I like to see, again, him involved in the play, uh, not checking out when he realized he was kind of, you know, he bit on that fake at first. I like to see that. <laughs> nice little play by Texas to pick up a nice little chunk. All right, we got a second and 12 here. Again, you'll see Wonkwo every single time. This is where he lines up the entire game. Texas bringing that man in motion. And we see some more run defense, okay? But big hole opens up in the interior. <laughs> Let's see how this develops. We can see a little bit better of a of a view here. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah, and I mean, this right guard does a really good job of getting Juan Quo out of the way there. But hey, uh, good job on everybody else. This linebacker here, safety up here, coming to this could have been a much larger gain. And third and eight. Okay. I believe this is a, I believe they convert this. But well, it should be another pass rush situation against. Again, Wonko right here. Oh, yes. Sniffs out this screen. That's right. He sniffs it out. And again, guys, this is just a game of inches, okay? Where Baxter's able to, to break that, that little tackle attempt from uh, Chidoze Wonko. But he does a good job of sniffing this out, and he's really close to making that play making that stop on third down, getting them to punt. But this is a game of inches. See, he identifies it right now. I hate where this field goal post is at. It's so annoying. But, hey, he identifies it. Good job on his end getting over there. And, I mean, he's right there to make the tackle. But isn't able to get the leg wrapped up. And Baxter ends up converting that third down. It's all right, Wonkwo. Go get him on, on the next play. Actually, I don't think Wonko's in on this play. I think they brought some other guys uh, in here to spell him. So let me go ahead and, and move forward here. It's 11.53. All right. <laughs> let me fast forward and show you some other plays, and then I can get in here. Let's Let's check out 17.15. Again, he's a player that's definitely his strength is in run defense, but check this out. Check this out. Jose Wonkwo right there, number 10, over the center, right? Look at this. Look at this little pass rush. And you see him continue to fight. This is good. Um, it's Could you count it as a coverage sack? I don't know. You know, maybe you wanted to throw to Whittington, but the entire pack pocket collapses. Wonkwo's there to help wrap uh, wrap it up for the sack. But uh, I think 93 gets credit for it. But this was a, a great play by the Houston defensive line. You get a better view of it right here. Continuing to work. You like to see that. And you see what happens when you get some of that into your pressure. It allows your edges to have more success as well. Really love that play. I wanted to highlight that one. And then uh, let's take a look at 28-20. At I had this one marked. Second and 10. See tie ball game. Houston ends up coming back. And this might have been the final drive before Quinn Ewers got hurt and Malik Murphy came in. But again, Wonko at that nose tackle position. Now watch. Watch how he comes back into the play. Oh, sorry. He's right there. See, so he sniffs it out. And he's there to make that stop. Make it a minimal gain. It was a gain of like five, six. That could have easily, if he's not keeping his head in the game, identifying what's going on, that's easily a first down, okay? I like I like his awareness that you see with this, okay? He's taking on two guys, but hey, he's able to understand, oh, shoot, they got a play coming up here for Baxter. I'm going to get in there and help wrap him up. I like that. I like that he doesn't check out after it's thrown. No. He understands that he plays a role in stopping um, the ball carrier. And let me get to one more, and then I'll get to some of your comments. Looks like I'll have to do a, uh, a part two, right? 2307.
And this is a good one to end off of. Third and one, okay? Third and one, ball in the 45, third quarter. Wonkwo down there. This little helmet right here, okay? Look at this stuff. Look at this stuff. Not being moved off the ball. Not being moved off the line of scrimmage. Holding his ground. It, it was a stop. It was a stop. Now, they do convert the fourth down. They actually went for it on fourth down. But who cares about that right now? Let's let's watch this play. Wonkwo does a great job. Again, not allowing. I mean, look. That center, got he got no push. And it allowed everybody else to come up. Quinn Ewers had to go to the side because there was nothing right there up front. That's all credit to Wonkwo. That was a great play. I, I really love that. So sorry that I got to hop to this meeting here in a few minutes, guys. Um, I'll, I'll probably hop up here again. Oh, man, thank you, really flawed. See, not Baxter, Brooks, thank you. <laughs> I knew it was something with a B, right? <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, Brooks Brooks had a great year. But um, I will get out here with another part two probably in the next 30 minutes or so. We can pick this back up. Like, how does that sound? Uh, I, I don't think this meeting will take very long um, that, that I got to be at. But, you know, overall, I'm, I'm very happy to have uh, Chidoze Wonkwo here. He's a guy that's, I think, really going to help the quality – of our run defense you know I, i'll legit take you guys through every snap that he played in this uh in this game you know and you can kind of see where his strengths lie um, I've, i showed you some of his pass rushing that that was successful that's a, definitely an area of growth that i want to see from him this year is um you know so, sometimes but sometimes like he's set up to where I don't, like, what can you do if we're rushing three and you're facing the center and both the guards? You're facing a triple team. I, You know, I don't know. But I, I'm going to be curious to hear, to think what y'all think. Red zones go. I mean, man, think about having this man on a 4-5 line with some of those edges. Who are you going to double exactly? Exactly. And a lot of what Houston was doing, um, you, yeah, they're, they're just doing three down linemen dropping eight. So... I am hoping that whoever our defensive coordinator is, I mean, you got to think that with the edges that we're bringing in, we're going to be uh, putting the pressure, putting the pressure on at least a lot of four man rushes. Ivan Westbrook, Texas is my team. Well, you're always welcome to also hop on the, the, the Colorado bandwagon. If you need a new big 12 team now, love it. I cheer for Texas as well. I should have known that Jonathan Brooks was a, not CJ Baxter, you know, but this is why, this is why I talk to y'all. Y'all help me out. So um, anyways, would love to know your thoughts in the comments on, um, on Chidoze Wonkwo, what you like about his game, anything that stuck out to you in this video. I got to hop here. I'll be back for part two in a little bit. Thank you guys so much. And as always, Sco Buffs.